All right, thank you, Jasmine. Kyle Bradish, Joey Ortiz, and Nick Gonzalez are the faces of the hashtag Pro Aggies on X. If you look it up, you'll see all the great things the trio of former New Mexico State baseball players have done on the Major League Baseball field. Now, to last night, a couple more clips were added to that. There, we love to show you, but we're having a little bit of difficulty with our clip machine, so I'm going to try and act it out for you. Of course, Nick Gonzalez and the Pittsburgh Pirates were down 6-2 to two against the Giants last night, but they came all the way back to tie the game up at 6 in the bottom of the 9. Now, in the bottom of the 10th, Pirates have the winning run over at second, so imagine in your mind's eye a runner at second. I'm Nick Gonzalez, and he's going to send this pitch right back where it came from. It probably looks something like that. Probably not that good, though. That runner's going to come around to score. Boom, Pirates win it. I'm probably sure there was a lot of jumping. There was a lot of screaming. People were freaking out. Great night to be at the ballpark. Pirates win 7-6 to six in 10. All thanks to Nick Gonzalez, who's continuing to play well for the Pirates. Now, Kyle Bradish on the bump yesterday for Baltimore, facing the St. Louis Cardinals. Bradish, he had a solid outing, pitching five innings, allowing four hits. He's a right-hander, so he's probably doing some of this. He struck out six batters. <sighs> Yeah, okay, there's six strikeouts right there. It was a pitcher duel with Lance Lynn, by the way, who's having a resurgence season. Game was tied at 1-1 one to one before Mother Nature came down. There was a lot of rain in this one. They had to stop that contest, and the game's been suspended due to rain, so that's going to resume today at 10.15 a.m. So some matinee viewing for you. Now, Bradish, again, he's probably not going to go back out. His arm's tired, so Bradish will have to wait another day to collect his first win of the season. Now, back here in the borderlands, staying with New Mexico State baseball, the last time the Aggies played the postseason was 2022. Now, that was the same year they went on a Cinderella one run to win the Western Athletic Conference Tournament that secured them an automatic bid to the NCAA Tournament. Now, this year, they're making their return to playing postseason baseball, actually, but this time, things look very different. This is NMSU baseball's first season in Conference USA, and they started their time off in the new league great by qualifying for the conference tournament. NMSU enters as the seven seed and a team with little collegiate baseball postseason experience, but that's not going to hold them back from making a run up in, Louis, up, up in Louisiana. They're getting underway very soon. In fact, they're getting underway very soon. The two-seeded Dallas Baptist, uh, they're taking on two-seeded Dallas Baptist in the opening game of the double elimination tournament. And first pitch for that game is at 11.30 a.m. today, streaming on ESPN+. Plus. Guys, I am out of breath from doing all that work, trying to show you what exactly happened. But that's all for sports this morning. Hopefully Sam and Kelly can actually show you what happened and don't have to rely on me for that. That's all coming up later tonight, and we'll have another check on your weather. Before you head out the door this morning, you're watching KTSM 9 News today.